Hi, in this video I want to show you really quickly how to set up columns inside of a Microsoft Word document. And to do columns, you're going to want to go to the Page Layout tab right up here at the top. Now you can see right now my document has actually several pages inside of it, and it's all a single column. I can change that simply by clicking anywhere in the document and coming here to the Columns option and choosing the layout that I want. In this case, I'm just going to select two. Also notice there's a More Columns option. We'll be coming back to that in just a moment. But I'll select two, and there I go with my columns. You're going to see your title here is a little bit pushed down because of the paragraph spacing below it. If I was to come here to Paragraph and change this to zero, whoops, right there before, get a zero in there you'll see that the columns balance out. And if I scroll down, it goes from page to page with two columns inside of it. Now, these aren't your only options for setting up columns inside of Word. If you select More Columns right here, the Columns dialog box will appear. You can do several things here. One is, you could select one of the presets here or you could specify the number of columns right here. I could bump this up and say that I want four columns in this document. And when I click OK, you'll see I now have four columns of text on every page. And that doesn't look very good, so I'm going to go ahead and go back in here to More Columns. And again, I'm on the Page Layout tab up here at the top. And I'm going to go back and select two there. You can also choose whether you want the columns to be of an equal width here. And you're going to notice right now, even though we have two columns, I can only make adjustments in the one right here. If I was to increase the spacing here, you're going to see that the widths of the columns change correspondingly. And if I was to bump this up, you'll see again the columns stay equal but the amount of spacing in between them increases. And if I uncheck equal columns here, I could go in and specify the exact width and spacing for each one of these items. Also notice that you're applying this to the whole document. In a moment, we're going to see how we can apply columns to just one section in the document. So I'm going to go ahead and select two here. And I'm going to make sure the equal column width is selected, and we'll go back to that layout. When I click OK, there we go. And obviously, if I want to go back to normal, all I have to do is come here and select one column as my layout. Now, sometimes you're going to come to a situation where you don't want the entire document to be set up in columns. You just want one particular section to be in columns. And let's say we want the title and first paragraph here to be one column, but we want this following paragraph here, everything from the end of this paragraph to the beginning of this paragraph, we want this to be in two columns. And the way you do that is that you're going to insert section breaks between these paragraphs. So I'm going to go ahead and click at the beginning of this paragraph, and again, I'm on the Page Layout tab, and I'm going to come here to Breaks. When I click, it's going to give me a number of different kinds of page breaks, section breaks, and also column breaks. For right now, since all we're doing is setting up the columns, I'm going to go ahead and select a Continuous Section Break. And that basically puts a logical break in the text in the document, but doesn't give you any kind of indication that it's there. So I'll select Continuous right there, and now that section break has been inserted. I'll scroll down a little bit, and since again I'm isolating this paragraph, I'm going to click at the end of it, go to Breaks, and select Continuous Section Break as well. So now you've got this paragraph isolated. You're also going to notice that I have an extra line right there. We'll see how to deal with that in just a moment. Now, you don't actually see your page breaks in here at this time. If you wanted to, you're going to have to turn on your hidden symbols. You do that by going to the Home tab right here, 
and clicking this little paragraph mark. When you click that, you're going to see there's that continuous section break that's in between the end of this paragraph and the beginning of this paragraph. And if I scroll down a little bit, there's another continuous section break right there. We can get rid of this extra line simply by highlighting it and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Again, the important part here is you want to make sure there's a section break here and here before the beginning and after the end of the area you want formatted with the different columns. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click in this middle section right here, go back to my page layout tab and select columns. And I'm going to go ahead and click that drop down. I'm going to go ahead and actually highlight that paragraph. You don't have to, but that way we can see exactly what we're working with. I'll come back here to columns and select two. And when I do that, you're going to see that this top section here remained a single column, but the section below it now has two columns inside of it. And again, the paragraph after that, because it's after this section break, is back to just being one paragraph. So you can set up columns in your document by using the page layout tab in columns and you can change the number of columns in a particular section just by inserting the section breaks. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and here's a paragraph. Let's say I want this to be in three columns. I'm going to go ahead and click before the start of that paragraph, go to breaks, and say continuous section break. And you'll see it jumps up there. I'll click at the end of this paragraph, and again put a continuous section break in. And again, you're going to see that I get that extra line break in there. I can just highlight it and hit delete, and it goes away. And now I can go ahead and focus just on this paragraph go to columns and three and now you can see that text has been divided up into three columns but the paragraphs before and after it are left alone so that's a quick and easy way to set up columns inside of your Microsoft Word document the one thing that you never want to do is you never want to use either um, tables or tabs to simulate columns inside of Microsoft Word Never use tables, never use tabs to set up columns. Always use this column tool with the appropriate continuous section breaks.